Hi everyone, uh, it's Clayton here, and today I'm just going to be showing my frilled dragon. So, uh, this is one of my new females. Uh, I just got her, like, yesterday. And uh, this is just a basic setup. I have a heat lamp, a uh, UVB lamp, and then uh, a feeder dish. And then there is also, uh, I have the box there just to prop up this stick, because they're arboreal and they like to climb. I have a water dish as well. Uh, she eats like a pig. She'll eat crickets, but uh, my other two big guys, they don't really seem to like crickets. And uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably hopefully be able to get them to start feeding on them eventually, but for now they're only eating horned worms. Yeah, and uh, well, there's that one. And then now I have my other two. And these are all just uh, temporary cages, this cage right here. I'm going to uh, actually build them one, but this is just temporary. The one that the cage that I got them in, they didn't even have a proper light on them. As you can see, this is the this is the female. She looks sweet. She's super cool. Uh, these all these are definitely like really really awesome. I don't know. I just like the way they move and their personality. These are definitely one of my favorite lizards. I like them more than my beardies. Uh, and the male. Male is actually not doing that well because he wasn't kept in proper care and he I believe he has an eye infection He has it in I believe both eyes because he has uh, What happens is his eyes before when I first got him His eyes were closed, but they weren't crusted over because he didn't have a warm light As you can see his eyes have crust on them now uh, I don't know If you can see the other one but yeah, I don't know. Um, I've just been using turtle eye drops, and then uh, what these have just like it's blah, 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 it says right here ingredients: uh, isotonic saline solution, uh, water, uh, <coughs> solubilizing hydrotrope or whatever, vitamin A, uh, da, 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 and an oil base, uh, vitamin B12 or something like that. Yeah, vitamin B12. Um, yeah, so I just put these on his uh, eyes like every morning. Usually about three times a day. Morning, lunch, and night. He's uh, definitely cool though. Uh, I, the thing is, I was looking into it and a lot of people seem to say that uh, when your furly is like this, when uh, if, if they have no vision, which he doesn't, uh, they'll eventually die. But uh, the thing is, uh, friggin' He won't, he's actually eating. I've got him to eat because uh, I did this appetite, appetite stimulant, which uh, I showed with my beardies. I gave him some of that, and uh, he's ate in that, and I was able to uh, squirt quite a bit of it in his mouth and get him to uh, eat a rather large amount of it, so that was good. Um, and then I waited a day or two. I've only had him for like uh, four days now. I'm hoping to uh, get a fecal sample where he's going to poop, and then from there I'm probably going to take him to the vet if he's not... Uh, if he hasn't opened his eyes, and then I'll be able to get uh, the poop examined, and then just get uh, their opinion on the eyes. Also, I would and wouldn't mind anybody else's opinion on this, on uh, how to fix his eyes. I believe he has the eye infection. Though the whole reason is uh, because he uh, wasn't had dim, wasn't under proper lighting. Right now, I have a MVB bulb, a mercury vapor bulb. This is. Uh, 160 you can put your hand here. It's probably about like uh, Feels like 80 degrees or so. It's probably about like 85. I would say I have a temperature gun I bet you it's probably like right at 85 uh, From there he just has a gradient. He can go over here and cool down if he wants to uh, Yeah, I don't know other than that. He's definitely awesome. He's I really do hope I can get this to uh, uh, recuperate because I don't know it'd be awesome to definitely have him as a breeder and then have the other two females so that would definitely be cool uh, but yeah I don't know that's pretty much it so I'm gonna actually feed him really quick and just show you how to actually feed him because what I do is uh, I use pliers and then I just open up his mouth a bit and then uh, he usually starts uh, like licking his lips and then I'll just stick the hornworm in a bit and as soon as he bites down on the hornworm, he'll eat it, guaranteed, every time he does. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's pretty much it. I'm going to feed them now. So, different.
Mm -mm -mm. She loves those. <laughs> She's so cool. She wasn't eating crickets, but I've been getting her to eat the horned worms, and I'm hopefully going to get her to eventually start eating crickets. I'm going to just keep, keep trying, and hopefully she'll eventually just start accepting them. And she also uh, has a little, little thing on her nose, but other than that, on the tip of her chin, you can see that. She'll probably start flap, opening up her flaps as well, I noticed that. They seem to do that uh, after I feed them, they usually uh, open up their frill and usually start trying to soak up more heat, I guess. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try and film this. It's going to be kind of hard, but I guess I can do it. Da -da -da -da. I just got up, so I don't even know if my hair is a mess. I'm not too worried. Definitely is probably messy, though. Uh. Okay, so what I do, I'll show you right now. All I simply do is take his head. You can see here's my blind guy. Completely blind in both eyes. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure he can see though, because he keeps moving around his head like he can see, and he'll turn his head towards the light if I shine it in his eyes, say I get like a bright flashlight. He usually turn his head towards it. So let's see, I just pull down his jaw a bit. And then that usually just agitates him to where he'll open up his mouth. Come on, come on. And if he doesn't, then what you want to do is make sure, make him bite down on the tip of the pliers. And from there, he'll just keep on chewing on it and eventually start chewing on the lizard. I mean, not on the lizard, on the worm. Come on. Come on, buddy. Can't get him to eat it. Been eating it for the past two days, I've been getting him to eat, but now he won't eat. <laughs> Maybe he's not hungry, I really don't know. See, there we go, I got him to eat. See, look at that. Blind, frilly eating. Just mowed that hornworm down like he's a pimp. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. I can't wait till this guy's recuperated. Hopefully he does. Chico, go lay down. Get away from my lizard. He's definitely cool. Ugh. I love the way how they run on their hind legs as well. That's definitely another cool trait of these guys. Come on. Okay, so if I can't get him, I usually just, if I can't get him to eat another one after the first one, I'll just say screw it. But I'll try again. Because I really would try to get him full. More, full. more fully is the better. Come on. Kind of hard to get this picture. Come on, don't fight. Yeah, I don't want to stress him out. I'm just going to leave him. And... There we go, I got him to eat. I'm not going to bug him anymore, but yeah, it's definitely, he's definitely good though. At least one horned worm will stop him from starving. Definitely enough for him. These horned worms are filled with a lot of moisture and nutrients. I believe there's a lot of protein and other crap in there too. So yeah, I don't know, that's about it. That's how I feed my uh, sick frilly. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to fucking hold this between my legs and put him back in.
Okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll feed her the other two. You guys can watch that, and then I'm done. I want her to frill up, but she won't. She's too tame. Which is good, though. I like that they're tame. I don't want them to be a wild. But that's good. They're definitely used to being handled. <clears throat> so, yeah, I got one more worm for it, and then that's it. Want it? I love the way these guys look. Maybe I can get the other guy to eat it from up here. Oh, shit. Well, there goes the horned worm. I just dropped it. But, yeah, I don't know. They aren't eating it. But, yeah, that's about it. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated on my uh, frilly. And uh, I've also, just for uh, to keep these guys hydrated, I've been soaking them in the bath daily. I've been giving them, like, a good 20-minute bath where they just soak in there and soak up the water. All I do is just make sure it's over their vent, which is only, you only need, like, a good inch of water. Oh, yeah, I also want to show how to sex them. So as you can see, this frilly, oh, well you could kind of see there, you could kind of see the bumps. And then there is two bulges as well. You'll notice there's two bulges. If it's a female, it'll just be one bulge. See the two, one, two. It's not really huge. You could bend it. I could probably bend his tail a bit more and you'll see it a bit better, but I don't want to stress them out too much. So here's the other female. I'll show you the female's bottom. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. So as you can see with the female, just pretty much one big bump. I don't know how well you can tell. But you can also go by the pores as well. There's uh, little pores under their legs. And there, see these bumps? Right there. Those are uh, the indication that he's a male. And then the fact that she doesn't really have bumps. Well, you can, she has bumps, but they're really, really hard to see. They're not, not as pronounced as his bumps. Oh, she's gonna take off. I'm gonna shut them in, cause she'll be gone. I don't need my dog getting freaked out. He's a wuss though, he just runs away from them. Uh, yeah, I don't know, that's about it though. So yeah, thanks for watching and comment, rate, subscribe. We've said that like 59 times now, but yeah. Uh, this is the end of the video, so yeah, thanks for watching and comment, rate, subscribe. I'll keep you guys updated.